In lesson 8, we will be taking a look at the different calendar systems used by different religions. Two common phrases that we'll be using in this section is before common era and common era. People have invented a lot of different calendar systems over the centuries. But in the 19th and 20th century, the world needed a single calendar system. Business, politics and the basic need to communicate demanded such a system as the world became more and more connected. The first system that we'll be taking a look is the Gregorian system. It became dominant because it was favoured by the major economic and colonial powers such as Britain, America and France. Traditionally, the years in the Gregorian system are named either AD, meaning Anno Domino, in the year of our Lord, or BC, before Christ. Both terms used the birth of Christ as a reference point. But Christ's birth was miscalculated, making AD and BC inaccurate. Two new abbreviations were adopted to solve this problem, named common era and before common era. Different calendars are used for the various religions, but most use the same time divisions, such as a day, which is 24 hours in every day, the time that the earth takes to spin around its own axis, the lunar month, which is the time that the moon takes to go around the earth every 29 days, as well as the solar year, which is the amount of days that the earth takes to move around the sun. The different calendars that we will be discussing are the Julian and Gregorian calendars, the Jewish calendar, the Islamic calendar, the Baha'i calendar, the Chinese calendar, the Indian calendar, the Buddhist calendar, the African calendar, and also non-religious calendars. As we've already said, the Julian or Gregorian calendar is commonly used around the world. It's also called the Christian calendar because it counts the years from the birth of Christ. The Gregorian calendar uses the sun and lunar calendar as references. The Jewish calendar. In Judaism, they use their own calendar, which is calculated according to the days for festivals. It is the official calendar of Israel. It's a very complicated system that tries to do justice to the lunar and solar system. Year 1 dates back to 3761 before Common Era. According to Jewish tradition, this is the date of creation. The Jewish calendar was established by Sanhedrin leader Hillel. Jewish days also doesn't start at midnight but when the sun goes down. The Islamic calendar uses the phases of the moon and is also called the lunar calendar. Luna refers to the Latin word luna, which means moon. The Islamic calendar is 11 days shorter than the solar year used in the Gregorian calendar. It will overtake the Gregorian calendar in about 19,000 years from now. The Islamic day also starts at sunset, not at midnight.